accused child sex predators. Busted. It's usually the job of law enforcement, but the man behind this camera is no cop. He's a self-styled vigilante. 23-year-old Zach Swears. This guy said that he's always wanted to have sex with a virgin, and that he has many sexual fantasies that have yet to become realities. Web designer by day, predator poacher by night. Zach casts his net, putting ads on Craigslist, posing as a 15-year-old girl, then posts the citizen sex things on his website, anxietywar.com. As Rebecca Russell reports from our Grand Rapids affiliate, WXMI, Zach chats with the slime balls, lures them in, and arranges a rendezvous. This is just another predator who thinks he's going to have sex with an underage girl. Here he is reading from a chat where he says he pretended to be a 15-year-old girl flirting with this man, Zachary Snowyink. The girl has said, hey, I've never tried vaginal sex. And he says, you know you're not legal age, right? I don't have an issue with it, just letting you know. Maybe I could get a room for an hour or two. A meeting is set. Snow Yank waiting for the teen in a fast food chain parking lot. He doesn't know it, but the hunter is about to become the prey. I know your name. I know where you live. I know everything about you. I know you have a gun. Don't do anything stupid. I'm dumb too. Okay. What are you doing? To be honest with you, I was going to talk her out of it. Oh, yeah? Really? Does, do you think the chat log says that? I would never. No. Unbelievably, the 29-year-old insists he's innocent and says all he wanted to do was counsel the inexperienced teenage girl about sex. You really thought you were going to mentor her? <laughs> yeah. After getting caught, Snow Yink drives off, but he can't slink away for long. Zach brings cops to the exchange he captured with special glasses embedded with a camera. They look like these. Of course, there's a little processor in there and stuff. You know, it's like a little computer. There's like a little circle in here. And so, but when I'm when I'm confronting people and stuff, it's weird, they don't know I'm filming them. They don't. And uh, some of them don't, some of them see it. I know you're filming. Uh-huh. Right there. Snow Yink is just one of seven accused sex predators charged with the felony of accosting a child for immoral purposes. Some people think that I'm insane, that I'm mentally off. That's not the case. Zach started doing undercover work because he was curious about how many alleged sex predators lived in the area. Men like 68-year-old Dan Barnes, who our affiliate reports that, according to court records, lives close to an elementary school. He wanted to pay the girl for sex. He was looking for a sugar baby. Very bossy. No perfume, please. This girl with no panties would be hot. Gramps thinks he's about to meet a real-life Lolita while waiting in that same parking lot. You wanted to have sex with this girl, underage girl. I know, I know, it's a bad mistake. So why'd you do it? Because I'm This was dumb. premeditated. This I'm a dumbass. For Zach, confrontations like this now make him suspicious of everyone. These people are the same people you would see um, being a preacher at a church, being a school teacher. Anything, everybody that you see could have something under their skin that they know is, is wrong. No one has found out, and that scares the crap out of me. Don't trust anyone. And there are plenty of people to mistrust, like this guy, former football coach Jared Andrus. Zach says the 37-year-old thinks he's going to get some action from a young girl in his truck, but this story has no happy ending. Sir, I need help with the directions real quick. Yeah, where are you going? Um, I'm going to Wyoming. I know why you're here, okay? Okay. All right? Okay. You think it's pretty disgusting? Yeah, right? it's not right. Why'd you do it then? I don't know. Now watch as the creep flips his story, giving what appears to be the standard saintly alibi, saying all he wanted to do was protect the young girl. Sad thing is I couldn't have went through with it, so, you know, as bad as it sounds. <laughs> as bad as it sounds, you're here. So what would happen? She'd, she'd go in here? And they're, oh, sorry, I can't, I can't do it? No, I would like to get a hold of whoever she came from and said, listen, you could have got freaking mugged, you could have done by, anything. By you, right? No, You're talking no, sexually to her. No, I'm talking anyone could have abducted her. In another sting, Zach is shaving, doing his best to morph into a seventh grader. He's about to bust this burly 24-year-old. I've been talking to this guy who thinks he's going to meet a 13-year-old boy for sex. And that kid is actually me. <laughs> yeah, he's an old photo of myself from 2005. And when I asked him, where are you going to take me? He said, maybe back to my house or something like that. 
Watch as the guy waits in a park, Zach playing his part to a T, even affecting a high-pitched voice. Where are we gonna go though? I just, I have to know. I don't know, we can walk in the woods or something. After trudging into the woods, Zach finally reveals his identity, his voice now back to normal. And I have to tell you that person in the photo was me in 2005. It's 2016 now. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm only here to offer advice if you need it. Advice? You said you'd be willing to have oral sex here. Thanks to Zach's footage, the alleged online sex predator is arrested. And now 19-year-old Aaron Russell, the youngest of the seven people prosecuted in the citizen sting, is facing a judge, pleading guilty to attempted accosting of a minor for immoral purposes. With thousands of followers, many are calling Zach a hero. But the 23-year-old says he's not in it for the attention. He's running his undercover op to empower kids to speak up and to keep predators from carrying out their sick fantasies. The work he is doing is not without controversy. Sergeant Terry Dixon says citizen stings are never a good idea. We cannot and we don't encourage this type of activity. Some cops don't support his efforts. This is a very dangerous practice, and we, we don't condone it. But Zach has no intention of stopping his citizen busts. Even if running his undercover operation is draining, he says there's relief when the bad guys are caught. This is deep stuff, guys. I, I'm not, I don't enjoy doing this. Um, I enjoy catching the predators, but catching them is just so minute compared to talking to them. I talk to them for weeks, months sometimes. And so when I finally get to catch them, it's like, it's like finally it's gonna be over with. With the help of Zach, if convicted, his targets could face up to four years in prison.